Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting radical expressions. So if I had to simplify this problem, negative 3 times the square root of 20 minus the square root of 5. Well, my goal here is to see if I can get both of these to have the same square root. So the square root of 5 can't really break down anywhere, but 20 can. So I'm going to see if I can make 20 have a 5 in it. Well, 4 times 5, right? So if square root of negative 3, sorry, times the square root of 4 times 5. Then we have minus the square root of 5 right there. Well, now we have 4 times 5, being that 20. So multiplication inside of the square root, we can separate that. So we have negative 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Multiplication there, minus the square root of 5. Okay? Well, we can simplify a little bit now. The square root of 4 is just a 2. So we have negative 3 times a 2 times the square root of 5 minus the square root of 5. Well, negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6, so we have a negative 6, square root of 5 here, minus square root of 5. But now we have the same square root, so we look to the number that's in front of them. We have negative 6, and remember there's a 1 right there, so negative 6 minus a 1 is a negative 7. We then can just bring down the square root of 5, and there we go. Negative 7 times the square root of 5 is our final answer. So let's recap. We're giving negative 3 times the square root of 20 minus square root of 5. 20, I can break down to be 4 times 5, okay? And then from there, I can break that apart to that square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Well, square root of 4 is just 2, and negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. That square root of 5 is right here, so negative 6 times the square root of 5 minus the square root of 5. Same square root right there, look to the number out in front. This one's a negative 6, this one's a 1 right there, and we're subtracting it. So negative 6 times a, or minus a 1 is a negative 7, bring down the square root of 5. So our final answer here is negative 7 times the square root of 5.